and I'm going to actually cut the piece of the picanha off of the uh, top sirloin. Yeah. Yeah. Hey yo, this is Dash, and today I'm gonna to talk talk to you guys about something, and I'm doing something a little different today. I'm actually gonna be cutting a piece of meat. Um, so I've been, if you've seen a couple of my previous videos, my wife bought me a sous vide for, she just bought me a sous vide. And um, because she bought me a sous vide, obviously I've been watching other YouTubers who do sous vide videos. If you have a sous vide and you found my channel because of the fact that you have a sous vide and are looking for some help, I highly recommend the YouTube channel Sue V Anything. They don't owe me anything. They don't even know who I am, probably. But I found these guys and they are phenomenal. They 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 explain things very well. Not that I'm trying to model my videos after them, but I'm gonna be talking about things that I'm gonna be doing with the Sue V from time to time. The majority of my videos are semi-barbecue related. <laughs> Um, I do other things aside from just barbecue. All right, but the reason I have you guys here today is because is because I purchased this. This is a 15 and a half pound top butt, okay? Top, top round, just like top round sirloin or top butt sirloin It will is what it will be called for this right here. This cut right here, if you watch the guys from CV Anything, you, you, you know what this is. This stripe going across here, from what I understand, is the, oh crap, every time I have to say it, I can never say it. Picanha, there it is. This piece of meat is the picanha. Those guys swear up and down, and I actually got a, a Picanha cut from a Latino grocery store. <sighs> My gosh. Everything they talk about in those in those videos about how good and how it's the best piece of steak, it's really good. Me personally, I'm a big ribeye fan. And oh my gosh, the picanha was pretty daggone close. I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna actually cut the piece of the picanha or um off of the uh, top sirloin. So what I'm gonna do at this point, you can watch me get it done. I'll be back in a bit in the end and we'll talk about what happened. Okay, so at this point you see that I have the top, okay, the picanha, all right, separated from the rest of the uh, top round roast. Now, from what I understand, looking at this, the picanha runs about here. It's a triangular, triangular shape, and actually I think this might be like there's not much meat in here, but I, I'm I'm not 
I'm no butcher by any means, but I can see that this this muscle, the uh, if I clean it up and to clean it up, I would just stick my knife in here on the on the edge, and I don't want to keep my hand in the way, but I want to get this silver skin that's in here. out and I'm just gonna get under here and once I get it started I can come back the other way and get it all up so I'm gonna work on trying to get this out but I believe that this cut is gonna be right about here if you can see a light score right about here and uh, I'm trying to dig in there and, and see if my guess is right um, because the way the muscle looks, it looks like there's there's a, a bit of fat in here that separates this whole thing. And I just kind of want to cut it right about there. Okay, so here we have it. Um, you guys saw me trim the silver screen, skin and the membrane that was on the back of this uh, picanha off. So the whole thing is, and I was right, where I was telling you guys that, that piece, okay, this is the picanha, all right? Now what the picanha is, is the top round roast, and, and from what I understand, it is the top round cap. Basically, it's the butt cheek, <laughs> all right? Um, of the cow and it is fantastic after it's sous vide and then seared so after hearing about it from the guys over at sous vide everything um, I had to try it and I found a piece and it was amazing uh, to say the least so at this point this is my picanha all right I'm now one of the things you'll see if you ever seen someone slice picanha the what they do is they slice the picanha with the grain okay so that what happens is you slice the picanha with the grain so then after you finish cooking it you're slicing it against the grain like you're normally recommended that you do so from what i understand this is the piece of meat that i needed and um i think i, I did a pretty decent job or at least i hope i did I'm sure you guys will let me know down in the comments if I did it completely wrong or if I'm completely off base and this is the wrong cut of meat or, or any of those things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this off to the side and I will, like I said, with the grain and I'll cut it into maybe inch and a half size steaks, all right, with the grain, all right, just like this. And then I'll cut this one probably in two, 
and then I'll uh, put them in a bag and I will season them up and I'll sear them a little later. But I wanted to talk to you about the other piece of meat that's here. So this, if I could get it over here. There's a lot of other meat and fat in here. What I'm gonna do is trim a lot of this fat away. All of that is. All of that is fat and connected tissue. And there's more of it and I'm gonna trim some of that away as well and I'm gonna cut this into steaks this way and from what I understand this is more or less I don't know exactly which cut but this is like a obviously this is probably the bottom round right here so I, I don't know though um, if somebody knows if somebody's a butcher and wants to tell me you know how I did or what I did wrong I would appreciate it but I'm trying to take the the fat off of this so that I can cut it up I'm trying to take the fat off of this so that I can uh, maybe uh, separate this into some steaks and have them for my family later actually into a roast and have them for my family later. If I, I mean, since I cut this, you know, this meat up, might as well take advantage and eat it. All right. Now I'll cut it into a couple big steaks, maybe three, and I'm gonna seal this up and we'll have it a little later. Okay, so what I was able to do was uh, I cut these, the that big piece of the top sirloin um, into one, two, three, four, five different, uh, about thick steak sizes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal these up and and uh, we'll, I will probably cook these in the pressure cooker. I've been contemplating if I'm gonna cut one of these this way but I think I'm gonna just leave it the way that it is. And like I said, I'll cook these in the uh, in the pressure cooker and they should be great. But the star of the show is definitely this beautiful piece of meat right here. And again, I'm hoping I got it right. And this is actually the picanha. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, try to seal these up and get this into um, a bag basically and uh, I'm gonna cut this, cook this a little later in my SUV and then I will sear it. So maybe there'll be a video okay. for that. So honestly, as you can tell, I'm no butcher. Um, I do uh, handle meat and cut meat from time to time uh, due to my business or with my business. But uh, again, unfortunately, like I said, I'm not a butcher. Hopefully I didn't butcher, completely butcher, uh, pun intended, this top, um, top round sirloin, sorry. Um, hopefully, maybe if you were like me, I was trying to find some information on how to get the picanha. 
um, because I live in Baltimore and uh, it is not a fairly common cut of meat um, that I could get easily. I was able to go to a Latino uh, market or Latin market um, and at the Latin market I did find the picanha there but if you're looking for it and you have the availability to find a top round roast or a top round sirloin maybe you can do it yourself cut your own picanha and um, you can go from there if you haven't already please do subscribe leave me a thumbs up and a comment tell me how I did and if I got it completely wrong Thanks again as always for watching. I'll see you next time.